In this video, we will watch a cavity filling at the dentist. The goal of this procedure, in particular for this patient, is to, of course, remove the cavity from the tooth, which happens to be in between the two teeth, and also contour the filling to make sure it's flossable so the patient will not get another cavity in this area. First, the dentist or the dental assistant may take your blood pressure prior to numbing you up. Next, they may apply a topical anesthetic on your tissue so you won't feel the pinch from the needle. Then, you may receive local anesthetic. Once you're numb, the next step is to use a drill or an air abrasion instrument or a laser to remove the decayed area. In this case, the dentist is using a drill to remove the decay, aka the cavity, out of the tooth starting with a high-speed handpiece. This specific high-speed handpiece drill sprays out water, so there will also be a suction and or a saliva ejector in the patient's mouth during the drilling to suction up the water. Now this green liquid that they just placed on the tooth is a cavity detector liquid or also called a caries finder. It can help see exactly where any residual cavity is, but sometimes it does get on the gums too. So if you're like, what happened to the patient's gums? It will rinse away later. Next, the dentist may use a slow speed handpiece, sometimes called Mr. Bumpy, to remove more decay. This drill does not spray out water but it's a little bit bumpy. You'll feel the vibrations. Even though you're numb, you can still feel pressure. Oftentimes the dentist will say something like, hey, you might feel this. It's just kind of bumpy, but it does not hurt because you're numb. Okay, and then they are all done with the prep. So next is the filling portion. But just so you know, for this specific cavity, it's between the two teeth. So before they fill it, they need to place a band around the tooth and then a wedge so the filling material does not pour over onto the other tooth next to it. It's separating the two teeth away from each other. Then they may place a clamp on top to hold it all on. They may use an instrument to burnish the band against the adjacent tooth. And now they are ready for the filling process. The dentist will first place etch on the tooth. Etch is an acid gel, usually blue, and it's used to roughen up the surface of the enamel. Then the etch will be rinsed and suctioned and dried to prepare for the next step. So now you'll notice they have actually turned off the bright light because tooth colored fillings are hardened by light. This type of filling, the composite resin filling, is applied in layers. So right now what you're watching is the first step of the bonding agent where they brush it on to etch and prime the tooth. The next step is the adhesive, which is light cured. After brushing it on, they will use the special light to harden it. Now the tooth is one step closer, closer to being ready for the tooth colored filling. Here they are placing the filling material onto the tooth and now the different instruments are being used to pack it and make it look like a tooth. Dentists will spend some time on making it look like a tooth, right? They want to mold this composite filling material that they just placed on there so it can match the shape of the surrounding tooth. Once it is ready and the dentist is happy with the shape, again, this is usually the part that takes a little bit of time. After repeating this step a few times, adding the filling material, shaping it with the instruments, adding the filling material, shaping it with the instruments, then they will light cure it to harden it. The dental assistant may leave the saliva ejector in the corner of your mouth throughout this process, or they may put it in and out throughout the procedure, but either way, you'll mostly hear lots of suction noises during the appointment. Once they are done with the filling material, they'll take off all the wedges, bands, and clamps around your tooth. And with a high speed again, they may remove any sharp edges. Then they may floss it to make sure the contact between the two teeth is good. And lastly, they may check the bite with the biting paper, also called articulating paper. Sometimes it's difficult for the patient to tell for themselves if the filling is too high or not because you're numb, right? So this paper helps the dentist see if your bite is looking too high or not. If it is too high, they will trim off the excess filling material with the high speed. They may check the contact area again with the floss and then they will polish it so it's nice and smooth and there's your final restoration. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have more articles and videos about healthy teeth and healthy mouths. And until next time, peace.
love and teeth. <laughs>